<laughs> hey, so what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be uh, doing this episode of Let's Repair here, or at least trying to. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to repair this 3DS. Now, this 3DS does work, um, you know, don't get that confused. It's working for the most part okay, but there's a problem with this. For whatever reason, it's been like this for a while. It has this 8 gigabyte SD card, and this is like the only SD card it plays nicely with. It really doesn't play nicely with too many other SD cards, and this is my brother's old 3DS. What ended up happening was I decided to, they used to use Gateway, and I upgraded them to, at the time, ARM9 loader hacks. Now this has, this is fully updated, has Boot9 strap installed. Um, but whenever I tried to upgrade the memory card, or not the memory card, the SD card to like a 32 gig or something, it would work for a bit, and then after like a few boots, uh, it would write protect itself. Like, and the SD card was fine. I tried them in other systems. It's this system in particular. So what I did a while ago was I ended up uh, picking these up. I got two of them because when I get these parts, I like to get two at a time. Uh, but it is a replacement SD card reader. So we're going to be swapping it out to see if that uh, fixes the issue that we're having here. Um, and I'd like to get this working with all SD cards if possible. So we'll see what's up. Uh, but what I did for that, you know, this is his, but I ended up making him a trade. I said, I'll take your broken 3DS and I'll give you my working 2DS. Uh, and he actually likes the 2DS quite a bit. Um, so that's why. And if anybody's saying, you know, like it might have been a bad deal or whatever, dude, one, he doesn't really care about the value of it, um, you know, monetary value. And two, the other thing is I was giving him a working system for a broken system. And I'm finally getting around to trying this out here. Um, so this is, you know, my system I traded him for, and I'm either going to do one of two things. I'll either, once this is fixed, I'll either sell it off, um, or I might just keep this around, keep it fully updated, and use it for, like, DSI word transfers and such if friends want their systems modded with Boot9 strap or something. Uh, I've never taken one of these apart, so this will be interesting. But it looks like I have a uh, iFixit diagram uh, brought up right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and take this thing apart. So let's see, we're supposed to use the Phillips double zero. And coincidentally enough, I'm using the iFixit toolkit. So let's go ahead and rip this thing open. All right, so that's easy enough. Let's see what we're doing. We know. So we got that removed. We're now gonna have to take out the battery. So let me get a spudger here, because that's what it's recommending. Thankfully, it's nice. It's one of those things where I just coincidentally have all the stuff. There we go. We got that removed. Doesn't really matter if the serial number's showing. I honestly don't care all too much. And then we're going to have to remove a bunch of other screws. Let's see, here, 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 here. Alrighty. All right, so we end up getting this back off right here. I actually had to, what I did was I ended up popping these two parts because um, those ribbons were on there. And I kind of just had to admittedly like force this case off because these screws, end up, two of them end up getting stripped down a good amount. Um, but right here, there's two screws for the actual... SD card reader, so that one comes off quite easily. This comes off as well too. Cool. All right, so we have that all sorted. And let's see what else we need to do. And it looks like right here, I kind of want to use a flathead, should I get a spudger? Should probably get one. Uh, it looks like right there is where the ribbon is that connects this, so. I need to take this, carefully lift on it. So that looks like it didn't take that much force, but that's been removed. So now I kind of have to remove it from this end as well. And wait a minute, wait a minute. That is a solder glob. Look at that. That is, that is a solder glob right there. Is this thing supposed to be soldered on? Because it looks like it's supposed to be soldered on. Hold on. Yeah, we might need to bust out the soldering iron for this. It looks like that part is broken right there. So, interesting. Because let me see how all this is supposed to look when we take it off right here. 
I think it's going to be this point, if possible. Yeah, so it separates, as you can see. There we go. Yeah, and if you, if you guys see how that's lifting, that's not supposed to be lifting fully off the board. That is interesting. That definitely looks like a solder joint that came apart. So, let's see if I'll be able to get this carefully off. And, all right, looks like with a bit of force. Oh, you know what? That whole bottom part came off because it's adhesive on there. And it looks like some shielding that's part of it, but that will be okay. We'll kind of just have to remove this the best that we can. There we go. It looks like we got this piece stuck back on now from what I'm seeing here. So this might not be the best, but from what I see, it's grounded right there and it's grounded right there. And then it screws in right about there. So that's how it's supposed to go back in. So I was hoping I wouldn't have to bust out the soldering iron for this, but it looks like we're going to need to do that. So we just need to touch up on those two points. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then we have the old one right here. We can pop the new one in and we can replace that. So in an unexpected turn of events, let's go ahead and resolder this. And that looks like that should definitely be repairable. I'm not seeing anything else that's an issue right there. Just there's those two points. As I said, it mostly looks like a shielding or a grounding of some kind. And this is also one of those times where honestly, we might not have to replace this part because if it was if it was that that whole time, because that was already loose when I took this apart, if it was that the entire time, maybe that could have been the issue. But because I have a brand new SD card reader right here and we ripped the entire system apart, let's just do both. Let's go ahead and repair the two points there and we're going to replace the part that we think might be problematic. So this will be a fun time. I think we should be okay on that. There we go. And actually what I want to do to kind of keep keep this in place, I'm going to screw this back in here. Just so I don't have to mess with it all too much. So there we go. I'm barely screwing it in. Like just enough so that it stops. There we go. Alright. And that will be in there. We'll be able to hold that down and we'll get those two solder points soldered back in. And I think we'll be good at that point. All right, so now I got my soldering iron heated up. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, well, let's see, you know, it'd be good to put some pressure on that as well because that's still moving up a little bit, honestly. Yep. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, I've already cleaned these up just in case I need to. Take a little bit of flux. That's just a little bit too much, but it's all good. Kind of dab that. Dab each side with the flux, and I'll clean that up as well, too. And I'm going to take my solder and just solder each of these points together. Oh, if I can. Hmm. So it looks like that soldered in. Let me go ahead and get this other point here. And there we go. Neither of them are moving, so I think we're good on that. That one might be a little bit of a cold solder joint, but the point is... Those two are sticking there. They're making contact. I think we're good. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to unscrew this real quick. There's that. There's that. Sorry, my phone's going off in the midst of this. Damn. All right. And... Uh, can I move that? Like, I'm on purpose trying to get this to move. 
Well, I don't fully trust that, honestly. I don't fully trust that. I'll be straight up. So I'm going to add some new solder here. Go ahead. Point solder dead. And there, I just had to have gravity help me a little bit, but I think we're more solid there. Okay. And yeah, I'm trying to move this. That's looking fine now. It's just a little bit looser at the bottom. But let's go ahead. And I think we'll be good here. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now work backwards, get this new piece installed. Uh, actually, let me go ahead, clean that up as well too. Silly me. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to take another Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol clean these up there we go and there we go it's been cleaned up as I could technically dry it as well too although since it's alcohol it's going to dry anyways so we'll add a nice big solder glob on there and now we can go ahead and continue with this install. So I'm just going to take this out of the bag, if I can. There we go. I'm gonna kinda slide that. Uh, let me see how this goes on. Okay, it's supposed to go like that. And is it supposed to go kind of underneath like that in a way? I think that's normally how it goes. All right. And yeah, I know looking at this, it kind of like loops underneath like that. So I think it'll probably be better if I kind of go underneath here, press it into this. This is easier said than done, unfortunately. These are really tiny points we're working with. This actually might be the most physical work I've ever done on a handheld, I'll be honest. <laughs> I know some people who just swear off handhelds. I can I can see why. I can see why they don't want to touch handhelds. Like by touch I mean like repairing them and stuff. So let me go ahead. Ah oh, damn. Alright, so if I slid it underneath like that, I can get it. But then the problem I have right there is, as you can see, I don't have enough space to get in, so I'm going to have to unclick that. The thing is, though, the positive thing from that is that I know how it's supposed to feel when I click it in, which is definitely helpful. I can tell you all that. No, Lily, what are you doing? My dog's coming over here crying because I'm wrecking this 3DS. Well, hoping not to wreck it, hoping to fix it. There we go. There we go. All right. So I'm just pressing it down, making sure it's fine. I think that's good. And that is going to be a bit of a tight squeeze, but we got it. All righty. And there we go. All right, now we've brought it over. I'm going to get both these screws popped in. If I get at least one in, I should be okay to let go. And again, just screw it in enough. Cool. And let me go ahead, pop in screw number two. There we go. And I think we're okay. And it's coming up a little bit because there's no adhesive on the other side right now, but I think that should be fine. 
just pressing this down again, making sure everything's good there. And let's go ahead and get these popped on as well. So there's two ribbons right here. Hopefully you all can kind of see this, but there's two ribbons for the triggers. Uh, one of them goes on here. Oop, in the left corner. There we go. That one clicked. And we just need to get this one to click. If it can, please click, please click, please click. And there we go. Both of them have clicked down. So I'm going to carefully pop this back on. Oh, this part kind of busted, which is understandable. But let's see. And both the, those ribbons are still coming on, which is fine. So let's go ahead and get this back in here. And actually, you know what I should do? All right, so I had to finagle a little bit with it, but there we go. We got that popped back in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least... I'm not going to put in all the screws here yet, because that should be fine. But what I'll at least do is I'm going to power this, kind of pop this back plate on here, put in the SD card, and I want to make sure that this thing works first off. So we can load in the SD card. That's good news. And it's turned on. It booted sweet. And look at that. Look at that. We got Luma. We got the homebrew launcher. We got all this other fun stuff. Let me kind of move this down a little bit. So, oh no, not that. I'll move it down so you all can see. As you can see right here, this seems to be working just fine. Let me open up an app like FBI, for example. All right, cool. Let's go home. Let me go over to Homebrew Launcher. Okay, cool. Those are working. Turn off. Uh, now, because I've also copied uh, Boot 9 Strap over to CTR, if I remove the SD card, it's powered on. All right, and of course it boots up, but none of that homebrew is coming on. Try the SD card one more time. All right, and another thing I forgot to do, I want to uh, try the uh, shoulder buttons as well. So let's wait for this. Cool, homebrew comes up. Oh, well, I held down the shoulder buttons. There we go. Press LR at the same time. The camera activates. Preparing. What's it preparing for? All right, cool. So that's working just fine. All right, now I don't fully believe I've fixed this yet because the problem is this SD card is fine. As I mentioned, it's other SD cards that it has issues with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully put this thing back together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, rip this off. If I can, where is it? 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 Here we go. Oh, if possible. But no, I'm going to pretty much just rip this part off. I'm going to screw everything back together. I tried around with another SD card, like try and play some games and stuff and uh, make sure that it's working. Uh, so can't really show that part, I guess. But uh, let me go ahead and put this back together and report back. So I'm just doing one more test on here to make sure that everything is working as it should. Got it all put back together, all screwed in. Again, all this other stuff is popping up. Now I've turned this off and on several times. Again, though, I'm not worried about this SD card. So home menu, the only other two buttons I'm really concerned with, honestly, are bringing up the camera. The camera does activate, no issues on that. Uh, but again, I need to uh, test it with an SD card. So I actually, have a 32 gigabyte SD card right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all the files over from this SD card to the 32 gig, 
try it out, see if I get any type of errors, and if I don't see any errors during my testing, I'll consider this a good repair. All right, so here we are again. Uh, this will be kind of my conclusive thing on here, and uh, if nothing changes, this will just be, you know, the end of the video. Uh, but what I did was uh, I popped in the 32 gig SD card with everything transferred over. I just did a copy paste from my old SD card to the desktop, then desk card to the desktop to the new one. Uh, again, I hold start power, you know, brings up all the Luma 3DS stuff. I can hit start. Lily, come here, guess what? The 3DS might be fixed. Yeah, the 3DS might be fixed. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? But yeah, as you can see, it loads in slowly at least, but um, things are loading in nonetheless. That is really slow. And the problem I was having was that the 3DS always worked with the SD card. And by that I mean, um, by that I mean I could even, like for example, all the other stuff, like, you know, holding start, pressing power, that always worked. But if something happened where, you know, I would go into the actual system menu, at random it would say, you know, write protection enabled, can't do anything with the SD card, so then it wouldn't read or write anything to or from it. But this seems to be consistently working in my testing here, just, you know, some light testing. And the conclusion is I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the part that was desoldered on the board or if it was the SD card reader. But with my logic, what I did was I just fixed both of them. Uh, the part that was desoldered, that was obviously not supposed to be desoldered. It was supposed to be soldered. Hey, Lily, I need you to stop. All right, I'm recording a video. You're being very rude. But um, the part that was desoldered, that was obviously supposed to be um, affixed to the board. And then because I had everything open and I already had replacement um, SD card adapters, well, SD card readers and writers, um, I decided to just go ahead and swap it out because, you know, that's what I was there for originally. So I did both of those and I don't know if it was one more than the other because it could have been a bad reader or it could have just been that part. But I fixed up both of them. It seems to be working fine right now. So I think we have a fixed up 3DS, which is great. So as I said, um, I'll either, you know, if, if a friend of mine or someone I know is wanting this, I might sell off, but otherwise, I have my main one, which is my new 3DS, and then I have this thing right here, which has been, you know, kind of broken for the past year or so, uh, and I just got around to fixing it now, so I'll do one more boot on here, and this would be good for DSiWare transfers if anybody wants to do that, so um, I might just hold on to it for that, because it's not, it's a little bit beat up, I don't know what that is, I, I seriously have no idea what that is, <laughs> and um, it's also missing the stylus as well too, which I really like the original 3DS styluses, man. I loved those things. I don't really like the new ones that they put in. I think the best thing we could do is we could do one more boot. The reason why I keep doing this is because at one point it will give a right protection air. Like I promise it will give it. But I don't think I'm going to get rid of this 8 gigabyte card right here. Reason being is that this is the... I even, I swear, I even tried cloning and this is the only one. This is the only card that worked perfectly with this system. So... We'll see what happens. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would very much be appreciated. If you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well, too. And I think we can conclude that this system has been fixed. Thanks for watching. Let's repair.